Hey everyone, we're continuing to survive a pandemic and that means that lots of dried foods that can survive on the shelf a long time, which isn't very long because we're just going to eat them. But uh, in theory, if you're going to order, I don't know, a thousand or two thousand of the same snack like all you crazy hoarders have been doing and you're going to load up your garage full of nuts, which should you choose? Planters? or Blue Diamond. These are both intentionally the savory versions. They offer, you know, sweet things, but this is when you've eaten a whole bunch of marshmallows and or creamer based macaroni and cheese and or all kinds of other sweet, 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 ungodly sweet, beyond crazy sweet things. And you need something a little salty. Just, or a little nutty. Well, we're all a little nutty. So, uh, what do we have here? We have the Planters Nutty Snack Mix. This is barbecue chili. Hmm, barbecue corn nuts. This is Planters Nutty Snack Mix. Wasabi crispy coated peanuts. And, yeah, wasabi honey. The honey is important. <laughs> We have the Blue Diamond Almonds. This is garlic, herb, and olive oil. Wow, that, that just seems very adult. I felt like I was adulting when I bought these. I was like, it, it even says crafted gourmet. <laughs> no, really, it's gourmet, but still. Okay, so this is pink Himalayan salt. The good salt. All right, so. What do we want to try first? Oh man, let's let's try one of each, alternating, okay. and then choose our favorites. Okay. So maybe this, because I just feel like it's gonna be the worst. This is the most American flavor. I'm not. I want half of that. Okay. I was oh, kind there's of, corn nuts in there too. I was kind of regretting. Oh, here. <laughs> I was no, kind of you need one of these. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, did you want to... Your hand, my hand. Okay. My hand is not so pretty because during pandemic, I can't get my nails done. So he can be the hand girl. Oh, the hand model. It tastes very mediocre to me. So, it's surprisingly better than I thought it would be. So instead of being really bad, it's pretty edible. Like if I was at a party, I would eat these. I would be like, I don't trust any of this other like weird artichoke dip garbage stuff that people put out or seven layer, 14 layer dips. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, That's but this is edible. 14 layers? They just keep piling more junk on. Okay. Because you want it all mixed together, guys. Um, the thing is, is that in a pandemic, you're not gonna have dental care. And I know this firsthand because my dentist is like, no, uh, <laughs> next available appointment is like two months from now. And these things are hard. That was like crunch. Like it was like, I hope there was some a ASMR kind of thing going on in there because. I mean, but they, they made it crunchy. So they made sure that in the description, crunchy. Okay. What, what do you want to try with Blue Diamond? I feel like the garlic herb and olive oil will be the best. So I, I want to save it for the last. Sounds amazing. So we'll do pink Him the Himalayan most boring. salt. Yes. So boring with boring. Yeah. And then hopefully it gets better. Yeah. Okay. okay. You can handle all this stuff. What? We're just doing two? They're boring looking. But it's pink Himalayan salt. And that means it's fancy. It's good for your chakras. It's good for your, your chi. Um... Yeah. All kinds of stuff. There, there's there's a reason pink, pink Himalayan salt is just the most amazing food on the planet. 
Also, I lost my album. <laughs> it's gone, guys. No, wait. You uh-huh. found it? Okay. Man, I love Blue Diamond Almonds. They're so good. They're so good. Even just salt. When I was a kid, my grandfather would get big giant canisters of Blue Diamond Almonds. Mm-hmm. And we would oh, the just fat ones? The big giant, giant, like the party. Like, don't give, don't give people popcorn and stuff. Just give people the Blue Diamond Almonds. It's so delicious. And their almonds are softer than... And they don't have the irritating shell. They don't. It's amazing. They don't have the outer layer. It's so good, guys. Um, the worst part about an almond is that the shell, the brown, mm-hmm. the brown bitter coating thing that like makes your, it's like an astringent quality that kind of dries up your mouth. Man, I could eat a ton of those. Those are great. If you want to do it at home, by the way, boil your almonds for like 10 seconds and those shells just rub right off. You can actually, like, it's super easy. But they did it for you. They're delicious. All right. What does planners have for us? Wasabi honey. I kind of feel like the Mr. Peanut is kind of like a fake it till you make it kind of guy. He kind of dresses all fancy. There's, there's Chex Mix in here. <laughs> I like that. I like Chex Mix. Okay. This looks very appealing. It's very colorful. I, man, I'm, I'm kind of excited. I don't know, Mr. Peanut, I was just disparaging you quite a bit, but now you've kind of... Okay, do I need more? I think we each need a hand. Okay. This looks so and good. That's on you. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, see, you get excited every time. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that. Pandemic, you touched it, your germs. Sorry, guys. All right. Okay. It smells like nothing. It smells like peanuts. But, Ready? Yep. Mm mm. Oh, horrible. It's so good. Okay. And so bad at the same time, which is perfect wasabi. So you have to make sure that you mix it well, because if the first thing you taste is wasabi, it's like fire, because it's horseradish. I don't know, but wasabi is pretty bad, but yet we all like it. And I don't know what it is about it, but it's like not a pleasant thing, but the, the checks. You drank all the tea. I literally drank all the tea, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's some hot ones right behind you. No. <laughs> um, wow, this is really good. It is mildly spicy. It has these sesame sticks for extra umami. And it's got the wasabi, it's got the peanuts. It's not too hard. Again, unlike these like corn nuts. I hate corn nuts, guys. Like they're so hard. And I just can't think a lifetime of eating corn nuts is going to be good on your teeth. Mm -mm. They're so hard. But these wasabi crispy coated peanuts were very flavorful, delicious. Uh, Actually, I'm worried that I'll say it was the best. And so I want to cleanse my palate just so that... The the... water's not going to cleanse your palate. Cameraman, can you please get us tea? Okay, so the last one, Blue Diamond, I am, I'm almost, I feel like they're tied right now. I really enjoyed the plain almond. I'm rooting for the garlic herb. But I'm, I'm hoping they're good. I'm hoping they're good. Thank you, sir. Pure Leaf Tea. They're not sponsoring us, but we wish they did. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Um... <laughs> Excuse me. I really, really enjoyed this Planters Nutty snack mix. Hmm. Yeah, that one was more pleasant than I expected. It was. It's better when it's like mixed. But you need those Chex mix. That, man, oh, okay. 
So again, I mean, these are very straightforward, very adult, not fancy, not Ooh. um Smell not that. Hmm? Smell. Oh, it smells like roasted rosemary potatoes. Mmm. No. Those ones. That is so adult. <laughs> Those are so great. I will want to eat that all the time. I I would want to eat that all the time, but I would have to cut it with the plain Himalayan salt ones because that's a lot of flavor. That is like pow, like right in your face flavor. It's so yummy. It's so good. I still like the wasabi. Again, I just feel like the planters peanut like snack mix is totally what <clears throat> you'd experience at a party. And I wouldn't be upset. I would enjoy them. I would eat them totally fine. This is the classier version. But this, I would never eat these. If these were there. If those were there. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I, um, I wouldn't, I'm not going to complain if these are there. And I don't know how pricey these were, but Oh, they were pricey. Ignoring price. <laughs> I would choose these every time. They're so good. Almonds are good for you. It feels healthier. All of this feels just better for you. This feels... <coughs> Patagon. <laughs> Thank you. This feels McDonald's um, American, like, <laughs> junk food and Twinkies and all this stuff. And I'm an American and I like all that stuff too. But... Uh, I would just choose that. Yep. Gourmet for the win. Gourmet for the win. <laughs> All right, guys. Definitely comment below and tell us what you want us to try or do. Bye. Bye. This tastes all right. It tastes like they, but like they basically were like, there's some flavor. That just tastes like a really great almond. Is it? Mm -hmm. It's really good. Maybe. Wow. <laughs> or maybe. It's weird how you go from like no flavor in this plantar bag and go to like so much flavor in this bag. Like no flavor, all the flavor. Oh, well, that smells like just like you. Happiness. Like you paid bills and you woke up, there's coffee made for you, there's newspaper, and then there's a little like little canister of these right for you that you eat and snack while you read your newspaper. And you're lazy boy. Do you have a pet? <laughs> okay, just, mm, yeah, just, mm. Mr. Bigglesworth. <laughs> Yeah, those are amazing. Well, it tastes like the realest of real things I... <laughs> he has I, no words. The ingredients. You can say olive oil is put on a lot of stuff, but I'm Italian and we cook with a lot of olive oil. So you get it on your hands and you taste it raw a lot of the time. And I actually can taste that like fine taste that you get from olive oil on the nut um, um, besides like any other ones. Other nuts that you can, you can't really get that taste. This tastes exactly like that. The garlic, yeah, is there and the herbs are there, but I'm more surprised that you get that nice refined olive oil taste out of that. That's definitely the winner though. That definitely makes, I, I wouldn't even eat any of those if, uh, or that even uh, the other one. If this is there, I'm eating that.